Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for all things business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Debbie Morris on the line, and she is the founder over at Live, Learn, Serve. Debbie, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be All here. All right. Well, I'm excited to get into today's uh, topic. So you just launched Live, Learn, Serve, um, on the, your, your online course, and also I want to get into what's going on over at per, uh, in personal visioning, which I need to know your wording on that a little more because I've not heard visioning. I'm in, though. I love adding it, the <laughs> I-N-G to it. Um, but just to start us off, let's get into what you're doing over at Live, Learn, Serve. So tell us a little bit more about your concept, please. Well, I started Live, Learn, Serve just because um, I felt like there was a need for a community dedicated to sort of helping folks achieve their greatest potential. So I've been in human resources for a very long time, and I thoroughly enjoy it, and I feel like I do that in a corporate setting, um, getting folks to be their best at work. Um, however, I feel like, you know, folks transition, people always come to me for sort of career advice and things that they should be doing. Um, and in helping others, I realized that there was a need that was broader than career, and people are just looking to find more fulfillment and value and purpose in what they do. So what kind of, um, what kind of clients are going to be the right fit typically for Live, Learn, Serve? So typically, um, I feel like the folks that I tend to help the most are folks in some type of transition. Mm -hmm. So um, either like you've been working for a long period of time and you may have gotten uh, maybe laid off or you're just kind of rethinking your path, you've been doing something for a long period of time, um, and you're like, this doesn't really – sit well with me. It doesn't really feel good. I'm at a point in my life where I don't think I am where I thought I would be. So those are types of the, the types of inquiries mm -hmm. that I feel like I get the most. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like in, you know, when folks seek me out, it's really focused on, well, I need another job. Help me get a job. And the asks mm -hmm. have been very urgent. Whereas, you know, upon deeper reflection, there are things that people need to be thinking about further um, or before they get to the point of looking mm -hmm. for a job. What does a typical engagement look like with Live, Learn, Serve? Is it like a month, a week, a year, or ongoing, just to give a feel? Cause and the reason I ask these questions is there's a lot of people mm -hmm. listening right now that they're listening and they're like, you know, I kind of need some help. And, uh, and, they're, and they're thinking, is Debbie the, is Debbie the right one for me? So tell us a little bit more about the process. So Absolutely. So right now, Live, Learn, Serve is mainly um, online courses. And so what I'm looking to do is be able to sort of teach the foundation and the basics through online courses, webinars, and then um, getting deeper and more reflective in group-type workshops. Mm -hmm. um, I also do sort of one-on-one um, -on -one coaching and, you know, sort of an exploration of um, strengths and values, but I focus mainly on sort of teaching the foundations and the basics of things that you should be considering as you're sort of planning a longer-term career or just sort of the things that you want to pursue in life. I think that's a great transition, too. So the first online course has been launched, so personal visioning. So teach me more, visioning. Visioning, yeah. So, you know, I I started here just because, again, I found like, you know, when people come to me and they ask for help and advice, it's always really urgent. Um, and so, like, to, to really, you know, provide the best service or the best advice, what I'm looking for is ultimately, so what do you want to do in life? So where do you feel like all of these jobs or opportunities are going to take you? It's not necessarily finding or nailing down the job in the moment, but what are you going to be your next two or three steps? And so I find with visioning, like, if you have sort of the foundation of who you are, what you're good at, 
um, where you thrive or where you strive to be, you can be much more focused and intentional about where you um, spend your time and the opportunities that you actually consider. So the visioning course, you know, sort of helps you kind of determine and land on a strategic statement for yourself. And so what I found was that at work and being in corporate HR for all these years, we are really good at doing this for other people mm -hmm. and other organizations. And we rarely spend the amount of time that we need to sort of look within ourselves to kind of determine those things. And so I found that just a lot of the practices and the principles and the methodology that we practice at work can really mm -hmm. apply to an individual. So a lot of like that strategic planning, um, you can actually, you know, do that for yourself. And really what that comes out to is personal visioning. And so personal visioning, it. it, you know, it ends up being sort of a combination of what you're good at, your strengths, what you value, um, what is your moral compass, what are you interested in, what are your deepest desires, and what does the world need, basically. And it's combining all those components to come up with a statement that you can kind of use to sort of chart your course. Where do you think people typically go wrong when it comes to, to and I know it's going to change from person to person, of course, and from, mm -hmm. you know, career, tenure, all that good stuff. But where do you think people typically go wrong in personal visioning? Um, I think people try to sort of um, – land on what they feel like is right um, and not necessarily spend the time in, in trying to determine what's right for them. So, um, and that's because we just don't spend the time. And I think, you know, people, and a lot of people, this is, you know, something that we all kind of struggle with, is taking the time to test things um, and being um, open to failing. So it's like, how likely are you um, going to do something new if you know in the end that you're going to fail at it? But those are the experiences that you kind of need to sort of be able to test and grow and really confirm what your strengths are and what you desire to be. And so if you're never really putting yourself in the position of trying anything new or putting yourself in the position to be vulnerable and fail, you know, what do you really learn about yourself? Um, so I think that just, you know, we have to kind of build the rigor and the comfort um, and the openness of being able to try new things, um, do things in a draft, and feel okay when it doesn't work out exactly how you thought it would because you learned something from it. And so I feel like, you know, what I find with professionals or experienced professionals, you know, you go through the I went to college, I majored in this, mm -hmm. and that set yep. me on the track for this, and my parents told me, you know, I shouldn't do liberal arts. They told me I needed to do science, and that's why I did that. And it was acceptable by my community, and I needed to be mm -hmm. corporate. So you do all these things because you feel like it's the right thing to do, but not necessarily take the time to establish what exactly is right for you. No, I love it. So, Debbie, if mm -hmm. somebody's listening to this, and they want more information on Live, Learn, Serve or your personal visioning course, I mean, what's the best way for them to reach out? So I would say start with LiveLearnServe.com. That is where you can find more, out, you can find more about um, Live, Learn, Serve as well as the personal visioning course. Um, you can reach out to me directly on a LinkedIn. Um, you know, I, people reach out to me directly all the time, and I'm happy to um, converse with you there. And then also on Instagram, I'm on live.learn.serve, and so you can follow us on Instagram. Fantastic. Well, hey, Debbie, it's been great having you on the on the show, and congrats again on launching Live, Learn, Serve. I'm excited to see more great things out of you, and I'll, I know you're going to help a lot of people by using your expertise and, and putting in these courses for them to benefit from, so um, kudos on that. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. I um, hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes Store. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters business definitely give us a subscribe there but also leave us some comments in the video i mean love to hear what you're working on what's going on in your business and what you thought of the show and debbie thanks again for coming on the show